As always, link to the source code and text version of this video in the description. In a previous video, I showed how to take a Polygon 2D node and create physics bodies out of it. As a quick follow-up to it, I want to demonstrate how you can do the same thing with a Line 2D node. I think this method in particular is interesting because it lets us play with Godot's very cool geometry class, which I really should do a full video on at some point. And just because I'm a big fan of games where the player gets any sort of way to creatively interact with the world, and drawable physics objects are a great fit for that. Let's dive in. To kick things off, let's look at how we can turn a Line 2D into a static physics body. If you recall how the Polygon 2D static body was set up in the last video, we created our polygon in the editor and simply copied its points to a collision shape. The concept for the Line 2D static body is the same thing, but with one major change. We can't take a line, which is infinitely thin, and make a polygon out of it. We need to first buffer it in some sort of way so that we can turn it into a polygon. So how do we do that? With the offset polyline 2D function in the geometry class. This function takes a polyline and expands it by a given amount of pixels into one or more polygons. So to create a physics body that matches what we have drawn with the Line 2D node, we can just call this function and set the delta value to half of the Line 2D's width. Then we can create a collision polygon 2D node for each returned polygon. The code for the scene ends up looking like this. You can also pass values to define how to create the joins and ends of the polygon, such as round off the edges, keep them square, etc. But these options, compared to the options on the line 2D node, do vary a bit, so you'll have to reference the docs to figure out what will work best for you. To make a rigid body, it's also the same technique as what I showed before with the polygon 2D node. We just first need to generate the buffered polygons and then create a collision polygon 2D node for each polygon generated. In fact, the code for this scene is a direct copy of the Polygon 2D code, comments and all, just with the appropriate changes to generate polygons from a line 2D and create collision shapes for each returned polygon. If you want to know more about why I did what I did in this script, I recommend checking out the original Polygon 2D video, but in short, I could sum it up this way. First, to have a line 2D node move and rotate with a rigid body, it needs to be a child of that rigid body. So as opposed to the static body scene where the line 2D is the parent, we make the rigid body 2D node be the scene root in this case. Case. Secondly, the center of mass on a rigid body 2D node is determined by its origin. So the scene's rigid body 2D node needs to be moved to the center of the drawn line, but since it's the root node of the scene, we have to offset its children and the generated collision shapes after the move to keep everything in the right position. And lastly, I'm not completely happy with this implementation, but I've yet to find a way that really satisfies these requirements that I'm particularly fond of, so I'm sticking with it for now, but if you have a better idea, please let me know in the comments. So when we run this sample project, which consists of a static line body, a rigid line body, and a ball to see how everything interacts with each other, we get this. Static and rigid physics bodies that are generated at runtime based on the line 2D nodes. And that's a quick look at creating physics bodies from line 2D nodes. The next step here would be to either create some funky hand-drawn level geometry using the line 2D and polygon 2D methods, or even to let the player draw their own shapes during gameplay to really create something fun and unique. In fact, I did do something like that for one of my first games using Godot, though the implementation was a bit rougher since I didn't know about the geometry class at the time. Just forgive me here for the terrible artwork and floaty physics. I'll link to the documentation for the offset polyline 2D function in the description.